Hey guys, John V from Phone Arena. I'm live at MWC 2015. I'm hanging out at the HTC booth where I'm doing a quick comparison video here. First look video between the Samsung Galaxy S5, flashes flagship for Samsung, and of course the just announced HTC One M9, which is HTC's flagship when it's coming here. So, let's talk about the designs first. Two contrasting handsets, plastic versus metal. Between them, the more appealing, more attractive looking handset is obviously the M9. The M9 has a brushed aluminum finish, giving that premium quality, a good amount of substance, and just feels better in the hand. You have that because of the contour of the back casing here. It just it has a more ergonomic feel. Whereas with the Samsung Galaxy S5, it is plastic. It contributes in giving it a lightweight, you know, for, lightweight feel in the hand, but it's just not all that attractive. You know, this, this, uh, you know, chrome-like uh, bezel around the sides uh, just doesn't quite feel as nice as a real, you know, aluminum finish of the uh, M9. Although we got to give Samsung credit, though, the handset is water resistant, so it can be submerged. Whereas with the M9, it really can't. On top of that, Samsung has outfitted the S5 with a ton of features. So you have things like the uh, the fingerprint sensor, you have the, all the uh, air view, air gestures, you have the display, the IR blaster, removable battery, micro SD card slot, heart rate sensor, the list could goes on and on and on. But the HTC One M9, what it features that are, that are stand out include things like the uh, front fire and dual speakers with HTC Boom Sound and Dolby Audio support. You have also you know, micro SD card expan expansion. You have the IR blaster to turn to universal remote. And, um, uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, as far as their displays are concerned, pretty similar, Super AMOLED display of the S5. 1080p at 5.1 inches versus the 5 inch 1080p Super LCD 3 display of the M9. Now it just depends on your taste, honestly, both could be appealing. You have more of a color saturation going on with the Super AMOLED display of the uh, S5. You have wider viewing angles and of course that deep black color, but it is far from being the most accurate color display. As far as the M9 though, Technically on paper, it's a little bit more detailed, but honestly, you're not going to tell the difference between the two. It's a Super LCD D3 display, so you know outdoor availability is going to be hopefully be better. And it still has a more natural color and reproduction. Both are pretty attractive in the way you look at them. As far as the camera is concerned, you have the 16 megapixel camera of the S5. The S5, as we know, takes some exceptional looking photos with its camera. Uh, and the M9 has been upgraded to a beefy size 20 megapixel camera, so hopefully now it's going to take some better looking photos than before. But we've got to say that the addition of the uh, ultra pixel camera for the front facing camera is a nice touch for it. So you're going to get a lot more people and you know it's going to do a little bit better when it comes to low lighting performance. As far as the customized user interfaces, TouchWiz versus Sense 7, HTC Sense 7. Between, and there's no question, the more visual appealing one's gonna be Sense 7. It's cleaner, not, it's not as cartoony, and it's quite functional in the way that you have a lot of personalization in the various themes you can edit. You could even change the way, the, lay, the layout of the uh, menu panel here. So it's more modern looking, whereas with TouchWiz, yeah, there's a lot of features, you know, the multi-window support for true multitasking, but at the end of the day, it still looks pretty cartoony. It doesn't have that visual presentation, you know, the traction that we get with Sense 7. As far as the performances, of course, the, uh, the between of the uh, M9 is just more fluid, and it benefits from having a newer chipset. Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 versus the older 801 chip in the uh, S5. Uh, so, you know, it's going to handle the gaming just a little bit better than the S5. You know, the S5 will still handle it, but being the newer chipset, you know a lot of games are taking advantage of that. Uh, so that is a quick first look between these two handsets, guys. If you want to learn more about them, you can check our website, phonerina.com. Sean B. Thanks for watching.